Hey guys, it's your friend Izzy, and I'm in the kitchen, and and I'm gonna be showing you how to make how to make some Easter DIY treats. The first thing we're gonna be making is some pudding cups, um Easter pudding cups. Things you're gonna need are marshmallows, rainbow cookies. Melted dark chocolate morsels or regular. Make sure you get unsweetened. You need some melted chocolate morsels. Some sprinkles. Of course, your pudding cup. And yeah, that's all you're gonna need. Hi, Harry. Hey, Harry, you wanna stay in the video? Oh, my dog's over there. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is grab a cookie. I'm gonna get a cookie. So this is mine. This is my kitchen. It's not the biggest, but that is where I cook and store. Maybe one time we'll do a kitchen tour. I don't know. What we're going to do is I need this bunny earlier. We're going to do, we're going to make two marshmallow bunny ears. What is neat is to get a marshmallow, break it in half. Harry, what are you doing? You're gonna shape it into a bunny ear. Just like this. Shape it however you like into a little bunny ear. I like to flatten it out a little bit and that's your little bunny ear. Not I'm not very good at making these. And let's make our other one. So just make shape your other one. I don't know what my dog's eating down there. My dog is eating down there. Right fridge down there. Baby, I could do a fridge tour one time. Bye, me. Like my other bunny here. Now, what you do is you're going to put some melted chocolate onto your cookies. On the top of your cookies. Spread some melted chocolate on the top of your cookies. So it's completely melted. And how an adult help you melt it. Okay, so you're just going to stick on your bunny ears. Bunny, bunny ears. Alright. So yeah, that's really all you need to do. And then what you're gonna do is take a pudding cup and you're gonna take your bunny. You're gonna put it on top. You're gonna put it into the pudding like that. So isn't that nice? Little bunny inside your pudding. You can give it to your pudding. You can give it to friends. Give it to your friends and it's really nice. It's really nice. So yeah, so now for treat number two, we're making a DIY Easter egg. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your milk chocolate and you're just gonna run it up the sides, up the sides of your bowl. You can make kind of like an egg kind of thing. I'm not really sure. Like that, that kind of like that, and. That's what it's gonna look like. What you're gonna do, and then you put it to the, the refrigerator. I'm gonna put this into my fridge. I'm gonna put it into your fridge or your freezer. To your fridge. And let it set completely. Or you can put it into the freezer. Actually, I might want to put it into the freezer so it's more quickly. We're going to put it into the freezer for two minutes, one to two minutes, until the chocolate completely set. So I'm going to stay on the video. So, yeah, sprinkles. So I'm just going to wait till the chocolate set. It should be really sprinkles. It should set. Really. It should set. So it's gonna need some time for it to set. I don't know how really how long it's gonna take, but I'll just for a couple minutes. That's so cute. I'm gonna just put on some sprinkle. Actually onto my pudding. Sprinkle some sprinkly. Take some sprinkles and these different sprinkles. There's orange and colors and I'm just gonna sprinkle them on top. For a little bunny. Like the orange ones on sprinkle. How cute is that? Oh my god. And I'm 
Anyways, I'm using Jello brand pudding because that looks so good. But I'm really Hershey pudding, you know. Let's see how it's doing. Yeah, maybe I'll check how it's doing in the freezer. Hasn't really hardened that much. See, it hasn't really hardened. It's still kind of like milk. It's start. It's only starting to set. So let's put it back into my freezer. Freezer. Actually, while I'm here, I'm gonna do a fridge, t quick little fridge tour. So this is my fridge. So the stuff I have in my fridge. I have Parmesan. All the different stuff in here. Like, I'm going to show you a couple of things in my fridge. I have Parmesan cheese, um, ketchup, um, syrup, I have tiny, I have um, salsa, ranch dressing, all different kinds of things, like the chocolate syrup. And that's some stuff in my fridge, and maybe one time I'll do a real fridge tour, but, you know, we don't really have that much time because then I have to make the fridge tour. So this is my freezer down there. And a chocolate set in there. want to let it really set because if you take it out too soon, you try to take it out, it's not going to, like, taste that good because it's going to be really messy and stuff. So I'll try to be patient, guys, and wait for your chocolate to shine in the freezer. So let's wait. So while we're waiting, let's talk about something. We can make something. Or talk. I want to show you something. Try something. So this is French toast goldfish. Oh, want me to be sure? I'm going to put some on uh, a goldfish. I'm going to put, I'm going to sprinkle the gold. Kind of. Sprinkle some of this on top. Some of this gold French toast goldfish on top of my pudding. Make it even taste even better. Make it have even more sugar. Okay, I think that's good. All right, let's check on our chocolate. Oh, it's frozen. I think it's frozen. Yep, it's frozen. Yes, it's still a little wet. Right. Now, time. It's still a little bit wet, but that's okay. So now I'm running out of time. I'm all bed. We have to do this. I'm going to be extra thin. Oh my god, it's like real chocolate. Look at that. <laughs> Look at my face. Mmm, nice little egg. It's like delicious. That tastes like chocolate fudge. Haha, <laughs> look at my lip. That's really good. Tastes like chocolate fudge. I'm just using the paper towel because that's so messy. Mmm. Like your dark chocolate fudge. I'm having another bite of that. That's so good. Oh my god. That's delicious. I give this a 10 out of 10. And I'll have to tell you guys next time to eat this because I really want to show my mom this. I'm having one more bite. I'm going in for the next bite. Oh. That's delicious. Thank you guys for watching the video of DIY Easter treats. We made our bunny cup and our Easter egg chocolate fudge. Thank you guys again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below this video. And today, question of the day, I said in my last video, is what they're going to be doing for Easter, or Passover, whatever you celebrate. Or if you don't celebrate either, what you're doing over spring break, because school is off, of course, because today's Good Friday. Y'all. Yeah.
Oh, that chocolate's giving me a tummy cake. It's very rich. Okay, guys. Oh, don't forget to also subscribe to my sister channel. Bye, guys.